drop, pin and drop. So take us through the second trial and then the third. All right, on my first trial, the verdict came back. Um, it was right before Thanksgiving. And um, they couldn't come to a, a decision. It was, I believe it was seven not guilty, five guilty. It was the day before Thanksgiving. I think this was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. And um, the judge told them, if you guys can't come to a verdict, we sequestering you here through Thanksgiving. And within an hour, that verdict went from seven not guilty to 11 not guilty, to 11 guilty, one not guilty. So but, it was um, uh, 11 guilty at that time and there was one not guilty. So then what happened? Yeah. So then they send it, they send me back inside and it, it tells them to keep um, deliberating. So towards the end of the night, when it was about to close the session, they come back and they ask, have you guys come to a decision yet? And um, the foreman stands up and he's like, I've been in the military for 25 years. I was a military police investigator. And um, I don't believe any of the witnesses that will understand. I think they all have contradicting statements. They all have different. Basically, the dude said, I don't care if you keep me here till after Christmas. I'm not going to change my verdict like other people on this panel. Wow. So right there, boom. Bro, it was, it was, it was instantly. I remember the dude's name and everything. I don't want to say it. You know what right. I mean? But I, I never forget that dude ever in my life, bro. And, um, he, uh, he kind of was like, imagine it, he would have just because it was Thanksgiving and you want to spend the night with your family, but put me away for life. Bro, that shit is fucking crazy, but all right, that happens. I get the mistrial, which is a hung jury. Boom. Six months later, um, we go to the second trial. In the second trial, um, I get six guilty, six not guilty. And that's, uh, that was the, that was the verdict. Six guilty, six not guilty. There's people that said six not guilty refused to change. We was, they were sequestered for, five days and not one of them budged and um i got that was my second mistrial and then um i mean they offered me they offered me uh time but they wanted me to cooperate and i just was like listen i've been if i ain't cooperate by now doesn't that tell you i'm not gonna cooperate you know what i mean like that should make no sense if i ain't tell in the beginning what makes you think i'm gonna tell now right we're already here so it's like all right what's up Let's go. What's up? Ready for third? So I was like, you know, went to the third trial now. On the third trial, it was a little bit shaky, bro. I'm not going to lie to you because the jury, that jury pool was a fucked up jury pool. Um, I think there was one Spanish person on my whole, on my whole trial panel. Um, it was mostly like Chinese, Indian, a um, couple of white people. I think there was... One no, it was two black people, or two black uh, jurors, a lady and a man, and it was one Spanish um, dude on my um my last uh, jury, and I don't know something something fell off. That's why when the judge offered me the offer, he offered me, uh, and the shit that happened with the pastor, you know, with, with Benny, uh, I didn't want to risk it. I already, I already had thirty four months in on Rikers. Um, yeah, because we're talking years of your life has already been taken where you're like in limbo, pretty much not knowing what is going to happen. Right. Right. So it, it like, you know, what I'm saying like it was it was it was a situation that I was already like when the judge offered me the nine years, I was like, All right, the max I'm doing on the nine years is six. Um, If I get out in good behavior, I'll be home in three. So I'm like, I already got the three in. So I'm already like there's daylight like I could see. Right, you I see can, light at the end of the tunnel. Freedom. Right, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? And um, I I took it. I didn't want to gamble, bro. Everybody was like, you stupid. You could have won. You could have you could have sued. You could have this. And, and you know what, bro? All the money in the world ain't worth, you know, losing 20, 30 years of your time to, to, to come back down on appeal. Uh, I, I think I made the right decision. You know what I'm saying? I think I made the right decision. I think everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. 
Um, but wait, what happened with Pastor Benny? Pastor Benny also, also, me and him were going back and forth. Like, I got my first mistrial. Well, bullshit. He had his first mistrial. I had my mistrial. He had his mistrial. I had my mistrial. He was on his third trial. I was on my third trial. He blew trial and got 37. I cut out. And he had the same type of case I had. You know what I'm saying? He had the same type of he had the same type of case. He had the same shit with the witnesses lying. Um they recanted their statements, but after he did twenty something years, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it's a it's a fucked up situation, you know, and you know that that shit with Benny, bro. He he was uh he was an innocent man. So he influenced you to to take the deal. He was definitely the reason I took that. He was definitely one of the reasons, you know what I mean? Because when I came back there and um, he was wilding out, I don't, you know what I'm saying? He was bugging back there. And then the guard was like, can you calm your brother down? And I was like, yo, what happened? He was like, yo, he won't let nobody in the cell. He ready to cut people. Can you calm him down? Whatever. Yeah. So I was like, let me in there. Whatever. So, you know what I mean? Like they put me in the cell with my high, high classification. He was CMC though. Like they had him like, CMC is central monitor cases. That's like high, high, high. You know, he can't go nowhere without a captain or a dep. Like, you know, he, he was monitored at all times. Um, um, they put me in the cell with him. As soon as I walked in, he gave me a hug. He started crying, bro. And he was like, yo, bro, they, they, they're giving me life, bro. And that shit was a, a fucking crazy situation because here I am and I'm like, He's like, what they offer you? And when I told him the offer, he's like, yo, what are you thinking about, bro? And I was like, yeah, but they offered you some bullshit. He said, yeah, look at me. And I was like, yo, bro, you right. He said, fuck that shit. Take that shit, bro. Wow. Take that shit, bro. Yeah, bro, like, you know, you go in there, you meet a thousand dudes that everybody got advice. Everybody's a jailhouse lawyer. Everybody wants to give you, oh, yo, you should do this. Oh, do that. Do this. Do that. And um, the, the the hardest thing in life over there is, like, it's you that got to make that decision because it's you that's going to live with it. Like, I could live with those nine years, I could live with it. Somebody lost their life. People, Other people got wounded. One dude got paralyzed for the rest of his life. Like, I could deal with, like, you know what I'm saying? With nine years, that's what they're giving me. Listen, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, it was, it was a fucking crazy situation. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say a lot of it is like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, I feel bad that everything happened, but I had no control over what, what happened. It was like, everything went on in front of me like a movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got caught in a situation that, you know what I mean? If I would have stayed home, it might've still happened, but I wouldn't have been there. You know what I'm saying? So, so how many years did you end up doing? Altogether, five and a half. You know what I mean? Like, the crazy thing is the kid that got hit, one of the kids was an innocent bystander. Like, it's it's just like, it's a fucked up scenario all around. It's like, it's a parent's nightmare, bro. You got one going to jail that didn't do it. You got one that got killed that ain't had nothing to do with it. It's, it's just like one of those movies that you see all the time. Like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, you go to jail and it gets to a point that any decision you make in jail, you can end up doing life in jail. You know what I'm saying? Because you fighting every fucking day in there. You know what I mean? You cut a person the wrong way. You stab a person the wrong way. You hit a person the wrong way. He breaks his neck. You catch... You know how many people I know got life in there? Life in jail? Went in there with two to four. Went in there with fucking 10 years. Went in there with, and, and doing life? Natural life in there? It's, it's like... It's so easy once you're in there to catch cases. It's fucking nuts, bro. It's fucking nuts, bro. It's, you know... Nobody won in that situation at all. People lost nah. their lives. People went to prison and lost their lives that way. Parents lost their but, kids. Yeah, it was it was a it's a fucked up situation. It was like you know a lot of them was teenagers. The crazy thing is, I'm gonna tell you one crazy thing about it. Right, on my first trial, the di district attorney brought the kid that got killed's father to testify. And the father got on the stand. The father said, I don't know why you got me here. That's the wrong person. He wasn't the one that killed my son. I don't know why you got him here. You got the wrong person. 
Wow. The kid's fault. The kid's brother testifies and said, he's like, I was there. He wasn't even there that night. He said, you people are trying to convict the wrong person. Bro, they never brought them back to testify on the second or the third. They never brought them back. That first trial, the father and the son, the kid's brother, both testified. As DA witnesses and both of them said, yo, that wasn't the guy, that wasn't the shooter. And your lawyer didn't think to try to get them to come and testify on your behalf or anything? The lawyer told me that it was, it, he said we could always read it off the minutes or whatever. He he didn't think it was a, he said it could have been read two different ways. One, that they were just saying that to get street justice or just not wanting to cooperate and let me out. You know what I mean? Like he said it could, it, it could go either way. He said it's, it's a real iffy slope. He didn't want to, he didn't want to touch it. He said he felt that he had enough. Um, contradictory statements and evidence, like, you know what I mean? On my case, like, it was just, you know, how the fuck I get arrested three hours after? There's a drive-by with four guns coming out of my car, but there's no fuck. There's four different ballistics there's of guns involved in this shooting, and there's no gunpowder residue in my car <laughs> three, four hours after the shooting. There's no fingerprints Nobody's fingerprints, not even my own fingerprints, are in my own car. There's no gunpowder or fingerprints. How the fuck is that possible three hours after the fucking thing? It ain't like I went and cleaned the car. They found dust. They found it was dirt, uh, Philly guts, and all type of shit that they had in court. But there was no gunpowder. So how the fuck? And my car was stick. So what the fuck? I'm the fucking incredible octopus man shooting four <laughs> different guns and driving a fucking stick car like... It was just a case that was like, bro, 15 people supposedly involved, and I'm the only one locked up. You know what I'm saying? It was just like one of those cases that was like, the judge was scared to dismiss the case. The DA was like, caught in, like, bro, I went through three different DAs that didn't even want to take my case. Wow. They kept getting switched, so they got this fucking dodo bird over there that she thought she was the fucking... This bitch was going so hard on my shit. Like, bro, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? At the time, I ain't even had no felonies. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know. 